Welcome, Van Jones, a Special Advisor on Green Jobs for the White House Council on Environmental Quality. Yes. Thanks for joining us today. I'm glad, I'm glad to be here. Thank you for your interest. We've been hearing a lot about green jobs. Yes being built in a green economy. Yes. But I would venture to guess that most people in the middle of the country who are without jobs mm -hmm. <laughs> right now might not know what a green job is. Yeah, a green job, especially a green collar job, is a blue collar job that has been uh, upgraded and upskilled to better respect the environment. So for instance, you're, you're talking about uh, the, uh, the guys who put up the solar panels or, or the women who put up the solar panels. You're talking about people who are manufacturing wind turbines and putting those up. People who weatherize and retrofit buildings so they don't waste so much energy. But also, uh, you talk about the middle of the country, we're also talking about rural green jobs. For you instance. have talked about greening the ghetto. Yes. Explain what that is. Well, uh, what that concept was before I, I joined the administration was just the idea, let's include everybody. I think sometimes when we think about ecological solutions, we think about very high-end stuff, you know, maybe uh, uh, you know, space-age technology way off in the future. What we forget is most of the things we need right now to reduce pollution, to reduce uh, uh, greenhouse gas emissions, doesn't require fancy technology. You know what it requires? A caulking gun. Right. Um, you mentioned the rules and sort of getting a systemic structure in place. Um, how does the administration define a green job? I mean, is there a unified standard of definition so that you can quantify what green jobs are? Well, the way that we uh, talk about green jobs in this administration is that they are uh, uh, good jobs that are good for the environment. That is, that is the, the, the fundamental approach. And the way that we are tracking that is we've identified those uh, parts of the recovery package that we believe will produce those kinds of jobs. For instance, smart batteries. Uh, people don't think about batteries when we talk about energy. Uh, uh, people t tend to think about either solar panels or something like that. But actually being able to store energy better is a key part to being able to have a, a so better grid. So you're saying grid. it's a moving target, the definition. There's, no, there's nothing in writing that I could look at that says this is what a green job is. Well, I, I think, I think what, you could, what you can look at is uh, are those parts of the recovery package that are targeted toward the clean energy, energy mm -hmm. sector. There's a concern that this model really amounts to a zero-sum game. Oh. So you create some jobs, but then you're taking the same jobs away from other areas of the energy sector. Mm -hmm. And and so net-net, you might not even be up any jobs at all. Right. Can you address that? Yeah, yeah, that's one of those great myths. Uh, in fact, uh, all the credible studies show that um, as you begin to shift from uh, the older forms of energy, and especially the way we used to use, mm -hmm. do the older forms of energy, you actually need more skilled workers, more expertise to deploy. And, uh, and, and you actually will be creating more jobs. Both the transition creates more jobs as you go about retrofitting buildings, improving our grid, um, also investing in science, uh, research and development. That also you know, begins to grow our science commitment, which we're you know, really uh, committed to here. And also on the other side of it, uh, you know, as you have a more dis uh, dispersed and uh, uh, diverse energy portfolio, so, which, which will be more robust. In other words, we won't be relying so much only on one form of energy, but many fo forms of energy. You'll have more firms, more enterprises, and also more people working. So it's a myth that the transition and the final outcome is a, is a net zero. How do you ensure that uh, the money is being spent in the right place? Are there standards in place? Um, are, are, do states have their own discretion to declare what a green job is, or do they have guidelines they're following? We have a number of safeguards in place to make sure that every dollar is spent properly. For instance, uh, we have that stage gate approach where you know, we put out 10%, make sure they use that right, then we put out the next 40%, make sure they use that right. So you don't just get all the money. Mm -hmm. You actually get the money as you perform. And that lets you check, oh, wait, these people are having a problem. You can send in technical, technical assistance. You can make sure that they're able to perform. Uh, we also um, are uh, requiring, for instance, at the state level, that uh, the states actually do actual boots on the ground inspections of of ten percent of the homes uh, to make sure that the actual work is being done and being done the proper way and then we're doing uh, uh, both announced and unannounced inspections uh, through our department of energy so those are the kinds of uh, protections that we have in place you want to go fast but you also have to go forward in an accountable way and make sure that every dollar is spent appropriately, and we, we, are, we are doing that.